Alright, hey guys, today I have found an iCloud activation lock, whatever you want to call it, bypass. And this will work on the latest um, iCloud, which is whatever, 7.1.2. And this will bypass them. So you can actually use the phone and open applications on it when it is still iCloud locked. Right now, I will show you that it is iCloud locked, and I will show you that, let me just send in my router real quick, that it does have to find my iPhone, and okay, I just signed in, and it's going to show you this, um, please call me 911. And I was on iCloud.com. Oh, uh, let me see. That I sh I'm gonna show you that I erased it right over here, right there. iPhone. <clears throat> so this is iPhone. Anyway, so this is how you bypass it, and you can actually use the applications. All right, it's actually really easy. And if you do with the old method, which was um. Um, triple click the home bu the home button until you get voiceover. One, two, three. Voiceover on. Set okay. Off. Emergency call. Button. Emergency call. Back, back button. One. Voiceover Save on. this. One, 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 two. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, four, five. And that's not connected. Doesn't really matter. Just restart that real quick. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ended. And then, alright, when you get to the screen, you click the home button three times. One, two, three. Voice over on. You get the voice call over. Button. And you can just call back, and then you will be here. And you have access to the contacts. But that doesn't really get you anywhere. It's just a small glitch. Anyway, this is the. Um, how to. Wait, the way I did it. Alright, so, Cancel. what you do is, you go on this screen or any screen, you create the home button one time. Now, actually, hold on. In case if you think I'm going to trick you, I'm going to show you why it's going to be on the screen. And my computer's right there, I am not touching it. Alright, you, you go on the emergency, alright. One, two, three. Home button once. Emergency call. Emergency click the emergency call. call. Button. You double click it and then you double click it again really fast and it's gonna crash your um iPhone and then you can actually open the applications on the springboard, right? Look this. One, one, and it crashes. And then it crashes and then look, it crashed. And now I can I can actually open apps. And yeah, but what you are limited to you can, you don't have them. The control center, and you ha don't have the notification center. When you have this, and you notice that the time isn't there, but you can actually still open applications. And with the help of this, since you can open applications, I guess you could jailbreak and go on iFile, and then I guess edit some things. But I'm I'm not that much of a hacker. Anyway, um, you can lock it, and then <clears throat> it'll still be there. And you can actually still open applications, go into phone, nope, and you also still have the app switcher. Anyway, I will show you that it is still iCloud docked, I'm going to turn off right now. And I want to um, say that I am the founder, I am the one who found this glitch. Okay, turned off, turn it back on. I wait like 10, 20 seconds until it turns back on. And I will show you it's still iCloud docked, it's just the glitch that <clears throat> lets you actually open the application. So yes, you can use the App Store and I already tried resetting with my friend's iCloud account and for some reason it's still linked to mine. Well, at least you can use it, I guess. Like the phone at all, for like apps or anything. Okay, it's turning on. It's a 4S by the way. See those ribbons? Okay. Okay. Still on that screen. English, United States, next, 
Still not called the locked. Come on, hurry up. <clears throat> Any day now. Okay. So, like I said, you um triple click it. One, two, three. Get the voiceover. You click it. You click the home button once. Emergency call. You double tap once and then again. So one and then twice and then it crashes. Um. Then you one, two, three. And that's it. You can still open the applications. And I will show you that I called real quick. And it's actually not there for some reason, but I can't sign in. I mean, I could sign in, but it's not going to be, like, on the iCloud list for some reason. So, you can use the App Store. You can use the, um, I'm not sure if the calling don't, doesn't work because I'm using, um, some, uh, fake SIM card or whatever. And, yep, control sensor just doesn't work. But at least you can open applications and... You can use Safari for example. Let's go on uh, Google. And you could open FaceTime. Yep. So basically, like a real phone. But you can't phone. go back. FaceTime. Voice over. So you're gonna have to double tap it, delete it, go back, and here you are. And once again, I am the founder of it. Camera works, everything works. Alright, um. So, you yeah, that's really. That's really it. Um, maybe there are more glitches where you can actually sign in, but so far I can't sign in. I mean, I can sign in, but. Like, I'm really limited. I can't do anything. Like, if I sign in and if I turn on um, the Find My iPhone thing, it's not gonna be a link. Like, it'll show it that it is linked, but. In reality, it's not. So, anyway, enjoy this. Please, if you have any questions or clarifications, I'm happy to, I guess, help you. Oh, and one more thing. I'm going to show you my iOS. That is general. About. And 7.1.2. Alright. Peace, guys.